Hello there. The Canadian truckers have had the money carpet pulled from under them. This will not end well. This is an update to the video I did on Thursday about the crowdfunding site GoFundMe pausing donations to the Canadian truckers Freedom Convoy 2022. And this campaign had so far raised over 10 million Canadian dollars, that's about 5.8 million quid, within a couple of weeks with one million of those dollars having already been dispersed to the organisers. Well, GoFundMe, at the behest of the Canadian authorities, has just shut that funding campaign down and seized the remaining nine million dollars. And many people believe that a line has now been crossed in Canada. And get this, GoFundMe initially intended to pass this money on to charities that GoFundMe decided were worthy of it. Now I wonder which charities those would have been. Would the original donors have agreed with the GoFundMe choices? But in the last few hours they've tweeted out, probably because they received so much flack, to simplify the process for our users, we will be refunding all donations to the Freedom Convoy 2020 fundraiser. This refund will happen automatically. You do not need to submit a request. Donors can expect to see the refunds within 7 to 10 business days. So I hope all those who donated will wait for their refunds while shutting their account with GoFundMe down, and hopefully all those chargebacks will also hit GoFundMe's bottom line, and GoFundMe might end up having to set up a page on their own website to raise funds to keep themselves afloat. So donors will soon be free to pass that money by any other means they can find onto the truckers, who were the original beneficiaries. And I suspect there will be many people tempted to trawl through GoFundMe to get what they see as dodgy campaigns shut down. Now the police have said that what had started as a peaceful Canadian trucker convoy has turned into a violent occupation. And a BBC report said, Of the thousands who joined the truckers' protest, three people have so far been arrested, one for carrying a weapon, one charged with mischief under $5,000, and another with uttering threats on social media. Hmm. The truckers have said they will protest peacefully and stay as long as is required to get the job done. However, locals are reportedly getting a bit unsettled, so the truckers will have to tread very carefully. But many people are getting angry about this because it's one rule for one charity and another rule for another. As people compare this situation with that of those who caused so much damage in the US in 2020, but did they have their funding ripped from them? And you know exactly which group I'm talking about there. But it's worse than just that. The truckers are protesting against the overbearing mandates of their president, Justin Trudeau. So if this protest fails, then they fear the mandates, and worse, will come flooding in, to the point they will not be able to function within society unless they dutifully roll up their sleeves as required. No, you shall not be able to buy or sell unless you comply, and you must learn to comply, because a greater compliance will be requested from you very soon. And Trudeau is set on his path and the truckers on theirs, but who will be forced to crack first? So what do you think about the way this crowdfund has been treated? Please like and comment below. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.